Hello everyone and welcome to a C Sharp XNA tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to create a timer and uh, it's very simple. Uh, what we need to do first is to create a sprite font. And we'll call it font. And then we'll create a new item called with sprite font and we're So you don't have to do anything really here, you can change the size of the font, and you can change the name of the font again, but we're not going to do that. Uh, instead, we're going to make a float, we're going to call it time, and we'll call it, or give it a value, zero. And we need this because the time has to start somewhere, and it needs to keep track of the time so on. And we'll get to that later. Uh, so here in up, we're gonna go to update. No, actually, no. We're gonna go to load content first. And here, we're gonna write font equals content And this is important, we're gonna have to call our font the exact same here, time font. Otherwise it won't the console won't work. So there you go. Uh, now our font's loaded in. Now we need to go to the update function, which is I believe right here. Yes it is. And here we'll write Timer timer plus equals float game time dot elapsed game time in total not days, not hours, but seconds. Now this will basically just uh timers and name state space which is not valid in the given context. Is it oh it's time, never mind. Uh let's change that quickly. So what this will basically do is keep updating the time so we don't have the same time the whole time. <laughs> Trying to say that five times fast. Uh and now what we basically just need to do is add the drawing code and in order to do that we'll write sprite, sprite batch uh, begin and we'll also create a sprite batch end. and here we'll write sprite batch String font that's because that's the name of the font we did, and we'll write the timer is, and then we're also gonna add a time here, which is well, timer time dot two dot two string. Zero seconds, and we'll place it out on the screen. We'll place it roughly around there, I think. Okay, fine. And we'll give it a color. Now this should work, so if we start up our program, you have your timer, and you can change it to days, seconds, minutes, hours, whatever you want, but this was to show it in seconds, so I hope this guide helped you, and uh, keep working.